Bats truly are remarkable animals, and although they instill fear in many, their anatomical adaptations and ecological impacts certainly deserve more attention. There are 18 species of bat in Britain in total, with 17 breeding here. All of the species in the UK are insectivorous, with two species of horseshoe bats like the one seen here, and the rest being species known as Vesper bats. The bat family that is seen most frequently in the UK by far are the Pipistrels, which are small brown coloured bats that are found in almost every habitat. These bats have a fast agile flight, often on the edges of vegetation, around a head height above the ground, where they snatch tiny midges and gnats out of the air. They can catch up to more than 3,000 midges a night. The common and soprano pipistrels are also among the smallest bats in the UK, with a wingspan barely 25 centimeters across from tip to tip, and a body barely longer than a human thumb. In contrast, the noctial bat and the closely related Leisler's bat, as pictured here, are among the largest British bat species. With a body around 8 to 10 centimeters long from nose to tail, and a wingspan of around 45 centimeters across at the most, these bats are high-flying species that often fly over the tops of trees, often higher than the height of a house. They typically have a fast, straight flight, where they make steep dives in mid-air to capture large insects in the air. Their larger size enables them to catch insects up to the size of large moths and even flying beetles, and they also have very powerful jaws for their size and large canine teeth, as pictured here, enabling them to deal with the hard exoskeletons of these larger insects. Each species of bat appears to have a unique niche in which they hunt different insects in somewhat different ways to avoid competition in the same environment. This has led to some exceptionally impressive adaptations and diversification in behaviour. For example, the Dorbentons or water bat as seen here. These medium-sized bats are well known for skimming low over the surface of water such as lakes and rivers to snatch insects as they emerge from the surface of the water. However, with their large clawed feet, they have been known to capture small fish. Probably the most peculiar of all the UK bat species are the long-eared bats, which, as the name suggests, have extremely large ears, which enable them to pinpoint the position of their prey. In fact, the hearing of these bats is so acute, they can pinpoint the position of a moth perched on a leaf simply by listening for its wing beats. All UK species of bat, as well as many other species of bat found throughout the world, produce high-pitched pulses of sound and listen for echoes bouncing back off nearby objects, enabling them to develop a three-dimensional image in their heads of their surroundings and the position of their prey. This means of sensory navigation is known as echolocation or sonar. Bats are notoriously difficult animals to study or observe because they are nocturnal and of course, they have powered flight on their side. The calls in which bats produce during their echolocation are also so high pitched that they're beyond the range of most human hearing. One of the most effective ways to observe bats in their natural habitat is by using a bat detector, which enables you to not only locate bats in their natural state, but also potentially to identify the specific species you are observing. Bat detectors come in many different shapes and sizes, although they all have much the same principle, and with practice, it is possible for almost anybody to learn how to use one. For the sake of this video, this is a typical heterodyne magneto bat detector. By enabling the user to actually hear the sounds produced by bats as they fly about the night sky, it gives you a very interesting insight into how bats behave and also enables the user with practice to identify different species.
si tu veux.